Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode. Today, we're going to talk about something that is super important for your boat, but actually often ignored because, let's be honest, it's a little boring. <sighs> but I think I may have found the perfect battery terminal connector for my boat. Let's check it out. So guys, I picked up these new terminal connectors. So one of the big challenges I have is on the main battery, you're always, of course, recommended to run all your graphs, your electronics, your pumps, you know, all that stuff. It all goes to your main battery and then your trolling motor batteries are supposed to just run your trolling motor. So obviously the manufacturer recommends that you wire all this stuff directly to the battery. So you can imagine how many wires you eventually get going to your main battery. So the challenge for me has always been to find something that connects to the main battery in a way that I like and in a way that's easy to take off. So at first I had uh, all those little mini connectors, those little round connectors that would connect to the threaded post on the battery. Um, but it was just so annoying. Anytime I wanted to clean the battery, remove the battery, I had to take all the wires off, get everything organized. I got kind of sick of that. So what I did was is I bought a new terminal connector that went on the main post of the battery, uh, that, that big larger post. and. That had like a clamp down, a clamping sort of mechanism on it that you would close all the wires in, but I found that very insecure. I'll show it to you after, but I didn't like that at all. Although I did use it for a year with no problems, I still don't feel like it's secure. But then I went online and I found these guys. So check this one out. These are uh, battery post connectors and they actually come with ports on it like this so that you can connect uh, cables directly into here and then just tighten them down with an Allen wrench. And I like that I can put different cable sizes in here and then I just have one post connector that goes onto the battery and that's the end of the story. So this actually comes with um, the ability to wire two sets of zero, two, or four gauge wire. And then you have two ports here that allow you to do from, uh, I believe it's eight to 10 right in here. So you've got four positions that you can connect your battery, which is super handy. Now, they do come in a pair like this, and they also come with covers. One little thing that I'm not sure about, I don't know why these covers are not colored, like there should be a black and a red one, but they are transparent, so you can put a little drop of paint on there if you really want to. Um, but that's what comes in the package, and they also come with shims. Now, these are zinc alloy, so they are, uh, you know, resistant to corrosion, which is super important. It is rated for marine or auto, applications. So I'm going to try these out and we're going to go put them on, see how easy it is. But be warned, you cannot just throw the wires in here and, uh, you know, use an Allen key to uh, tighten them down. You need to use ferrules, all right? So ferrules look like these things right here. We'll take them out and I'll show you. They're basically um, little cylinders that you put the wire in and then you put the entire cylinder inside and you tighten that down and that crimps down the wire. So very important that you have these. I'll have links in the description below to the ferrules, to the terminal connectors. Everything will be uh, down there because I feel like this will be a setup that I want to recommend. Even though I've tried different ones, I feel like this will be the winner. Uh, and ferrules, by the way, are used on trolling motor connectors, uh, which draw up to, you know, 60 amps. So you know that these will work for your boat, no problem. Uh, and again, these are made out of of a uh, tinned copper. So again, they are um, corrosion resistant. All right, so uh, let's go over to the battery and I'll show you what I've got and we'll go ahead and install this and see how it looks. So here you can see my setup. We've got the terminal covers that are protecting the, uh, the battery posts and we're gonna wanna take these off and uh, get at these wires. So because this is on here so tight, it is just impossible for me to get at anything. So we're gonna actually unscrew, uh, unbolt these right off the posts and, uh, and then we'll get at the wires. So you can see here this current connector that I tried using. You can see it's just two bolts that have a plate that it tightens here and all the wires just get shoved inside. And now that I'm taking it apart, you can actually see this wire here just popped right out. So you can see this is not a great solution and that's why I actually never showed it. I wanted to try this out um, to see if it would actually last a year. It did, but by the looks of this, barely. So let's get all these wires out of here. Okay, so that's off. So now you can see how many cables we have here. So you've got five negatives here and we've only got, let me see, one, two, three. You got four main wires here. But if I wanted to add more electronics on here, obviously I'm gonna have a ton more wiring. And you can see these just pop right off, super easy. You can see how small they are. Um, yeah, not ideal. 
didn't work the way I wanted. It's just too much wiring for this little piece here. So if you guys are looking at this kind of terminal, uh, forget it. No bueno. Just before we go any further guys, just remember please smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. It's the only thing I ask for in return for putting these videos together for you. All right, so smash, smash, smash. Okay, so here is our new terminal connector. Uh, and you can see it's quite a bit more robust. It's got some good weight to it. So we're just going to go ahead and open up these ports right here with the Allen key. By the way, quick tip for you guys. Um, if you're using any kind of Allen keys or special wrenches uh, for your boats for these critical connectors, make sure you always keep a set on your boat. So if you break down or something goes wrong while you're on the water or at the, uh, at the ramp, you can make some repairs right there on the spot. By the way, this is an H3 size and I'm assuming this is an H1 or an H2, probably an H1. Okay, so listen, we're going to start with the negative here, and uh, first things first, so you can see how large that cable is. Uh, we got a bit of extra here. We're going to fit the ferrule on here, so I believe this is a 4 gauge, so let's get the right ferrule out. Alright, so we're going to get the right ferrule in here. Now, you may need to adjust the length. Uh, you know, you might have to double check and make sure everything fits okay, but you can see that the ferrule fits perfectly like that. Now, the only thing is the ferrule length on this guy See how the wire is a little bit too long, it's sticking out, so I'm just going to trim this down just a little bit. Alright, let's see how that looks. There's the ferrule. And now we're cooking. Looks way better. And let's go ahead and tighten her down. Now make sure that the ferrule is all the way on and all the way inserted. You do not want it sticking out halfway or anything like that. You're going to compromise that crimp that's in here. And there we go. Beautiful. And when I look inside, you may not be able to see it on camera, but I can see that the ferrule is completely squished. It's completely crimped down on the wire. And that ain't going, I mean, that ain't going anywhere. Beauty. All right. I like that setup. After that, we're going to decide the position, but I got a funny feeling we're going to do it this way. Probably put it under here, position it that way. So now let's go ahead and do all of our other wires. So we can use different size ferrules, um, depending on how you want, or we can, combi we can combine several wires and put it into the large one here. It's sort of uh, the way you want to do it, the best way you want to configure your wire. So let's go ahead and uh, get all our wires in. All right, I think I'm going to combine these three wires here, and I'm going to put them into a single ferrule. By the way, you'll notice while I work, I've got the terminal completely covered and protected over here in case I hit the wire or anything. I don't want to hit that positive by accident. So you can see I actually still have a position left and I could get bigger ferrules and continue to fill this up. But you can see as it stands, none of those cables are going anywhere. So now we're going to go ahead and do the positive side. All right. By the way, you can also throw on a couple of tie wraps like this and get a nice clean install. So let's get that out of the way and go ahead and get cracking on red. There you go guys, we are all set. I am super happy with this install guys. This is way more secure, nothing is coming loose. I like this way better than what I had before and I also like this better than all the little separate loops. Really, really like this setup. All right, let's connect it and see how everything looks. So we're gonna go ahead and install this. Now the positive post is actually slightly bigger than the negative post. So there's shims that are in here. So you're gonna to wanna to take out the shim for the positive. There we go, don't need that. And then that will just go on here. We'll go ahead and bolt that down. So we're gonna take this shim, we're gonna put the shim in here. So we got two shims. So I can tell you one is not gonna be enough. So we take the shim off the positive and put it on the negative post. So I got two shims on there. 
and that way it fits properly. And now I can close her up. I'll close this up nice and tight. There. I can pick up the battery by the terminal. You know it's good. <laughs> Obviously the other nice thing is, is when these are secured in here, I can actually adjust this wiring uh, without having to unscrew the whole post off, which is also nice. I'll go ahead and put the finishing touch on here. Be careful with these plastic covers. They are made out of that kind of plastic that feels like it could break if you're not careful. And there we go, protected. It's on there, nice. That looks great. All right, let's screw down this guy. And let's put our little cover on here. There we go. Oh man, that looks great. Guys, that looks a million times better than what we had. Check this out. This is now, and I'm gonna just show you a picture of before. So you can see obviously big difference. This looks great. I am super happy with this. All right guys, that's it for the install. Uh, my first impression is that I love these. I think they are a lot more secure than these things. Guys, if you're shopping around, you're thinking of using these. Uh, they are trash. There's just way too many wires going back there uh, for this to be secure. So I would not recommend going with these. Um, are these the best? The best ones that you can have? I don't know. Um, I really, really like the configuration. I love that I can put in the separate wires when you do it properly with the ferrules. I like the fact that it comes with a cover way better than any of the options I've used. Um, I like it better than the little terminal connectors that you put on the uh, threaded connections, which I actually don't have because I had to put this battery in there as an emergency. So far it's been running great, so I haven't changed it. Um, but yeah, so I think in my opinion right now, these are the best ones that I've used to date. I really like them. I would recommend these. Unlike these, that's why I never mentioned these before, um, because they were kind of sketchy even when I installed them, I wasn't too sure. But love this, you saw the install, looks great. My only critique on these ones, like I said, is the plastic covers that go on the top. Um, I would have color coded those, those connectors, um, although it is kind of fancy that it's transparent, you can see the nice zinc alloy and everything underneath. Um, but I feel like those plastic covers would have been better made out of like some kind of a rigid rubber material uh, because that plastic feels like it, it's very fragile. I have a funny feeling with the heat and all that sort of thing. Over time it's going to become very brittle and one day I'm going to want to take those plastic covers off and the little clips are going to snap. Um, maybe, maybe not, we'll just have to be careful. But bear that in mind, uh, if you can find ones with rubber uh, or some kind of you know very rigid rubber, I'd probably go with that instead. But these work great. You saw what it looks like, it looks phenomenal. So super hyped with that guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was very, very simple today, but obviously a very critical piece and something that I wanted to upgrade on the boat uh, ASAP before I move on to other projects. So stay tuned. Uh, don't forget, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next video. We're gonna be back in the boat, working on electronics again. Uh, this will be a big one though. Very, very important part of your boat. And I will finally be fishing. I'm feeling a lot better. It's been uh, three weeks now um, since I've done my surgery. So uh, I had hernia surgery, in case you didn't know. So I will be fishing very soon. We're gonna be going out on the ice with our good buddy, Mark. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.